Thank you, Mr. President, President uh, ladies and gentlemen of the Senate. Senate Bill 202 requires that provisional votes cast before 5 p.m. to be thrown out. The following was written by Sabrina, a volunteer poll worker from Senate District 40. Sabrina says, I was an election day poll worker at the Dunwoody Library, which also had been an early voting site for three weeks prior to the election. I greeted voters at the door, checking the Secretary of State website to determine whether they were at the correct precinct. There were many, many voters who were at the wrong place. They were confused. They thought that if the Dunwoody Library was open to everyone during the early voting period, they should be able to vote there on election day as well. For the majority of voters, I was able to redirect them to their correct precinct, less than three miles away. Many, however, worked in Dunwoody, but lived in Stone Mountain, or Lithonia, or Decatur. They were DeKalb voters, just in the wrong precinct. They were either on a short lunch break from work or unable to make it back home to their precinct before the polls closed. Some had taken public transportation to get there. Others had worked or walked from their place of work. In each case, I asked if they were able to vote at their home precinct before 7 p.m. If they said they couldn't, I offered them the option of casting a provisional ballot. At the Dunwoody Library, we had dozens of provisional ballots cast. These are not random, she said, random disposable vote votes to me. I associated each one with a face, a story, a hardship. I saw the moms with toddlers tugging at them while they sat at the provisional ballot table filling out their paperwork. I saw the frail elderly voters that I pulled up chairs for so they could sit comfortably while casting their ballot on paper. I saw anxious young men looking crestfallen that despite their best efforts to get away from work and vote, their ballot might not count. I saw irate and confused middle-aged women who swore they had voted at the library precinct before. I saw naturalized citizens with limited English skills voting for the first time. These were all eligible voters who just turned up at the wrong precinct. And she says, there is no doubt in my mind that their votes must count. And this is why I, along with every member of my caucus, filed Senate Bill 314 that allows registered voters to cast their vote in any precinct within their county on election day. We have the technology to do this. The voting machine is capable of pulling up the voter's precise ballot so that he or she can vote for the correct candidates all the way down the ballot. There is simply no reason to throw out provisional votes cast prior to 5 p.m. As Sabrina says, these people are not disposable voters. Thank you, Mr. President. I yield the well.